Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of Waste and Mall, the debut studio record of the trash metal band Municipal Waste. Today we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of the record, so I've decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple, back in like 2016 or 17 I've been searching for more crossover trash music and I've stumbled upon these guys and I've been their fan ever since. Look at that cover art, classic trash stuff. As you can easily deduce, the album's name pays homage to Metallica's debut record, and members on this album are Tani, the vocalist, Ryan, the guitarist, Andy on the bass, and Brandon on drums, the last two members left after this record. So the production is tight, it's clean, but heavy at the same, it has that life feeling to it, message is diverse, songs are about various topics, mostly about the struggles of life as a trash metal fan like a song, knife fight or drunk as shit. Structure is basic and music is crossover trash, songs are very short. This record is only 17 minutes long, so I will try to make this review shorter. So it's a speed review, let's go! The executioner opens the record, amazing instrumental work, I love the guitar riffs, the bass work, the drums, everything. Classic song, my favorite from the record, 10 out of 10. Sweet Attack is almost as good, we hear the vocals here, they aren't the best but they fit the music and I enjoy them. So yeah, that's it, 9 out of 10. I can say the same thing about Mutants of War, it's not as fast as the previous song but it has more gang vocals, Mutants of War, 9 out of 10. Knife Fight, it's a good song, it's not as good as the previous two, 7 out of 10. Drunk as Shit and Death Prank are my least favorite songs here. Drunk as Shit is, yeah, it's funny, it's okay, and Death Prank is like 10 seconds long. These are not special songs, but they are fine, 6 out of 10. Substitute, Creature, a very fun track, it has that SOD vibe to it, you know Stormtroopers of Death, speak English or die album, yeah, 9 out of 10. Waste Them All, also very fun song. Fast, straight to the point, 9 out of 10. Toxic Revolution, one of my favorites here. Epic shit, 9 out of 10. I Want to Kill the President, another song that is like 15 or 20 seconds long, 6 out of 10. Trash, don't mind if I do. Yeah, another trashing banger, 6 out of 10. Dropout and Blood Hunger, another highlights of this record. I really enjoy the guitar work here. And the drumming, 9 out of 10. Jackpit is slightly worse than the previous two songs, but I still dig it, 8 out of 10. The Mountain Wizard is another banger here, straight to the point. No fucks given, let's go, 9 out of 10. And the final song is Untitled and it parodies heavy metal or maybe power metal, funny vocals. It's fun to listen to, 7 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is stable and the flow is fitting. Replayability, yeah, it's a great album. I enjoy it from beginning to the end. Sure, some songs aren't that good as the rest, but it's still a great record. Because it's very short, the songs are fast and straight to the point, so you won't get bored of it. It's fun to listen to. I truly enjoyed it and I recommend it to you. Celebrate its anniversary by spinning it today. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my other videos, bye!